We have to prove to them we can do the same thing they can. Thank you. Well, I just wanted to say that everybody should speak for themselves. Linda Gere was a founding member of the international self-advocacy group, People First. People First was to help people get out of our, on their own and not live in a group home or a nursing home anymore. Boy, what are they doing? I remember Linda as one of the leaders of a bunch of young adults. She was an adolescent, so she was a bit feisty. We don't want to have anybody tell us what to do and when to do it, like what time you should go to bed and what time you get up. Of course, me, I'm not too good about getting up. <laughs> And <laughs> In the 1970s, Linda was one of nearly 3,000 residents at Fairview Training Center, an Oregon state-run institution for the intellectual and developmentally disabled. We're people just like you are and everybody else, so they should give us the same consideration. A handful of residents banded together to create an organization run for and by people with disabilities. We may have some outside help with advisors and whatnot, but we want the main jest of the convention be run by us. They held their first convention at Otter Crest in 1974. Over 500 people attended. It is generally considered the beginning of the developmental disability self-advocacy movement. I think it's cruel. I think it's terribly cruel that we are spoken this way, labeled this way. To me, if you gotta label something, label words, label jars, label streets, but don't label persons. You put them down in the hole. And I'd like to see personally for a go for people first and to get rid of mentally retarded, mentally disabled, Mentally everything. Will the convention of the People First Round 2 please come to order? Oregon was the first state in the nation to have a People First movement. We want representatives on state DD Council, developmentally disability. Do we want this? Yes. We want representatives on President Committee on Mental Retardation, do we? Yeah. And that basically said, you don't need to call me mentally retarded. You don't need to call me other names. I am a person first. Within the first five to 10 years, you know, you had over a thousand people saying they were part of People First in one state or another. And then by 1985, it was an international movement. Some of the founding members remain active after more than 40 years of advocacy. They were fun old days, <laughs> good old days. People first, we sort of help each other do things, go camping, go on day trip get other people involved with people first. And then I decided I wanted to be a president of People First of Oregon, and I got elected and I did. <laughs> people First banner I made. I did a good job. I think that was good for me. And so I could talk to people and tell them about what we did. Today, there are People First organizations in over 40 countries, working to improve the lives of their members and all people with disabilities. People need to be listened to. And so, like I said, some of these people didn't get to be listened to. Just treat us like people, like human beings, because that's what we are, human beings.
Support for Move to Include comes from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people.